Uber's got a headline problem. That's because it's swiftly becoming the kind of company that, whether for better or worse, just can't stop making waves in Silicon Valley. Take the ride-sharing company's position on Obamacare, for example. Saturday, BuzzFeed reported Uber CEO and co-founder Travis Kalanick gave a partial endorsement to the health insurance law so often cursed by Republicans. A New York Magazine article notes how much that endorsement shattered what Republicans had originally thought of the company as a sort of idealized self-image as advocates of dynamism rather than existing privilege, new technology, rather than financial manipulation or resource extraction. And then there's the issue of senior Uber execs' remarks concerning digging up dirt on journalists, also first reported by BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed reports that Emil Michael, Uber's senior VP of business, suggested his company could dig up dirt on journalists seen to be against Uber and then use it as leverage against them. One specific target Michael had in mind was Sarah Lacey editor-in-chief of Silicon Valley's Pando Daily, who harshly criticized Uber in October over what she called a sexist advertisement in France. Michael argued he was under the impression the whole conversation was off the record, and he since apologized profusely for the remarks, saying they don't represent Uber's views and were made while venting. While this week has been about Obamacare endorsements and hypothetical and ethical practices, Uber has been a magnet for headlines almost since its inception, from causing taxi drivers worldwide to strike from its impact on the taxi industry. Late last night, taxi drivers caused delays and headaches in a protest against ride services like Uber and Lyft. To a whopping $18.2 billion valuation in June. Well, our top story to get you started has to be Uber, right? The car service gets that Uber valuation. To even reports the company has a special playbook for sabotaging its competitors. So while the company is only getting bigger, it's reportedly seeking a $1 billion investment for international expansion it'll also have to face increased scrutiny over whatever it may be doing alongside that success. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.